Before we get into the video, guys, as you know, we're on the road to 1 million subscribers. So if you're brand new here from Free to Play or you're somebody who just started watching my channel right now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you do drop a subscription. It helps me out massively. If you're somebody who watches my content consistently but you happen to not be subscribed yet, make sure you do check real quick if you're subscribed to the channel because it's easy to not be. Uh, so make sure you do hit that subscribe button and let me know down below when you have. I appreciate every single one of you guys. You're the absolute best. Thank you for all the support on the channel. Hope you guys enjoy today's video. Yo, what is up, guys? So yesterday, the Lama Rama event came out. They released the Battle Bus with this event. And if you look, you can do challenges and actually unlock the Battle Bus. This is how I got it. So if you guys are wondering how to get it, you got to complete the challenges. Um, it was pretty quick. It took not even, like, I'd say 20 minutes to get it all done. Uh, that's obviously assuming you don't lose any games when you're trying to do it. But it's pretty quick and uh, you get yourself the battle bus in games. So to start off with the customization of the car, you can't change the paint color at all for either side, but you can change the paint type. So you can add any paint finish to it that you want, which makes it look pretty cool. Some of them at least, the anodized ones look really nice, I think. Um, so for each side, you can do that, but you can also use whatever decal you want. So any black market works, but it defaults to red and black and blue and black for each side. Um, so the cool thing that you can do is find a painted decal like this, and it'll add some color to it. That's, that's probably my go-to when it comes to this car, if I'm going to do anything customization-wise. Uh, you can't change the wheels at all, by the way. I think for today, I'm going to use... Uh, I'm going to use one of the painted blue ones. Let's see which ones we can use. All right, for today, I'm going to use this one because it matches the wheels. I think it looks clean. You can't change the wheels at all. It's default to the Battle Bus wheels. Uh, for the boost, you can actually use Alpha Boost, which I think is really cool about this car. It's not default to any boost. You can use whatever you want. There's no limit to what you can or can't use. Uh, for hats, again, you can use whatever you want. I even had the alpha hat on here <laughs> for a bit. I think it looks funny. But yeah, it's pretty much it for hats. But yeah, and for antennas, you only have one option. And uh, gold explosions, of course, you can use whatever you want. I'm going to use just the atomizer for today, probably. And that's it. And then there's the battle bus engine sound, which I think is pretty cool about this. I don't know if I have my sound high enough, but I'll try to show you guys in training quick. When you aerial, if you jump, it sounds like in Fortnite when the, the bus is like moving around in the air. I don't know if you guys can hear that. There's music that plays and that little like horn sound. So yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Pretty cool feature that they added. But uh, we're going to be playing some ranked today. I'm not actually Super Sonic Legend yet. I haven't been grinding ranked. I've uh, been a little bit busy the last few days with RLCS and just practicing pro play and stuff like that. So we're going to play some ranked for today. I'll be testing this car out in my last two 1v1 placements. I have just finished my 3v3 and 2v2 placements. I haven't really played much outside of the placements. So we'll be trying to get Super Sonic Legends soon, but I haven't really been grinding it as hard as I should be. I've been playing a lot more just scrims and just chilling and playing tournaments, stuff like that. So let's get into the last two 1v1 placements and we'll focus on getting Super Sonic Legend in another video, obviously. But let's get into it, see if we can get some dubs, see what rank we finish off at in 1v1. All right, for the first game, I played against someone named Secret. I don't think I mentioned this yet, but if you guys are wondering why there's no profile picture, because I'm playing on Epic Games right now. Uh, there's been some issues with Steam lately, ever since the Switch. Um, the game's been a little bit laggy on Steam, so switched over to Epic Games temporarily, maybe permanently, depends on uh, the future, how things go in terms of uh, Steam starting to feel better. Better stay on this ball. It's going to be close to me here so I should try to slow down the play a bit not gonna want to challenge me if I have full control of the ball here just go for a flick create some more pressure try to make it weird for him here the good thing about this this market box is that you can kind of just sit on the floor and win a lot of 50s that's what it feels like at least you don't even have to jump and you'll win a lot of the big 50s just sitting on the floor Go for flipper set here. Oh, he actually saved it. It's a bad idea though. Try to just block him. Good fit this from him. I should wait. I just turned her. Try to bait him in a little bit. It's a good bait. I still have full control of the ball here, so we're good. We've had to make him play very reactionary a lot of these. A lot of these plays so we're still gonna have control after it all the bad thing is he did just get that boost but he can't actually get a goal out of it so it's okay as long as i turn away here i don't get bumped it's gonna be fine the half flipped out of the way well there and go for a shot 
might even be in there we go that was good the half up out of that that was a good flick from him almost caught me challenging that he did catch me challenging it but we recovered well the half up there good fake challenge he's gonna have the ball back got his boost which is huge i should go for his other boost here because i know he's gonna be low so i could have a crazy amount of options outside of just shooting it i could be able to shoot that maybe i go for another shot there we go Started him out early, and he didn't really have an option to break out of his half. All he could really do there was just save it off his backboard. He's kind of forced to. Good fake challenge. Maybe caught him out as well. There we go. Those are really OP. That's something I've been doing for so many years now in ones. You do those fake challenges. If they commit to your boost, just go for the shot. Save some boost. Go for the shot. You get a free goal. That was a good touch. All I could do there to get out of that situation is he was really close to the ball. Try to control this. Let him hit that. Again, I can create a lot of pressure with this. I have all the advantage here. I'm just going to toss it up high, see what he does. I'm going to fake jump. Make a panic a little bit more. Keep on throwing shots on goal. That shot could have been better, but it's fine because we still... So I'm in a weird spot here. It's gonna be tough to save for us though. There we go, it's a good save. It's a good air dribble from him. You have to wait till the very last moment to save those or even have a chance at saving those. The patience from us. I won the boost, which was huge there. Try to fake the shot. I don't think I can get back to this. That was a good play from him. I ended up missing. He rushed it a little bit. If you have empty net like that, just take your time. Try to take an extra second if you need to. Don't just overrush. I'm gonna go for a cheeky flick here. Oh my god, he saved it. We get beat. That's something I'm used to doing in threes a lot for my teammate. If you just beat it off the back wall like that. Dude, this guy's saving everything. What the heck? There's actually good shots that I'm throwing on, and he's just saving them all. I made a mistake here. A good catch from him. I don't know why I got stuck in the corner like that. Like in my head, I thought he was gonna go toward the corner. Good play from him. Good defense from him. He's playing well. Gotta wait for his touch here. Okay, he missed, but I can still pressure this a little bit close. I wanna save some of my boost here. He's probably gonna play this back. That's fine. I can get the boost now. It's the big part of that play. He's not gonna have a good shot. I don't have to panic yet. There we go. I saw him back off. Go for an air dribble bump, maybe. How is he saving these, dude? Everything. There we go. It's a good save. Good flick from him. When they're playing like that, like slow forward and have a dribble. I know if you're brand new, you're not gonna see that very often, but. If they are playing it like that, you have to just wait to the very last moment to save the flick. That was kind of a troll from me. To even try to go for that. I was trying to be cheeky. Drop it down and then get the follow up. But I think we've been doing better in terms of offense. He's just saving a lot of the stuff we're throwing at him. But it's fine. Just gotta play this next 10 seconds out smart. Get ball possession for free by faking. I'm gonna fake again. be fun. I was a little bit closer than I would have liked at the end, but as a, a green champ player from last season that I used to play a lot, he was high on Mark. Probably gonna be Super Sonic Legend soon, so quality player. He was saving a lot of my shots. I don't know what more I could have done with a lot of those shots, honestly. He was just saving a lot of them. We had most of the pressure the whole time. He scored off counterattacks. The majority of his goals I think it was. I think both of them were counterattacks, so that's just me over aggressing. If you're getting scored on counterattacks, the good thing is it's an easy thing to fix in ones. Just don't over aggress too much. Let's get to the next game. Might be him again, honestly. But yeah, it was a good game. He played well on defense for sure. Uh, let's get into the next one. See if we can keep it up. Let go, let go. All right, playing against someone named Feed. And we'll figure out our rank after this. But so far, what I think of this car is uh, the height on it makes winning 50s a lot easier. Like, even kickoffs. That kickoff right there. 
Honestly, I don't think I would have wanted that hard if I was on Octane. The height feels really good for winning 50-50s and challenges in general. That's something that I definitely think has an advantage over other cars. Um, outside of that, the one thing that distracts me a lot is when that the back door opens up when you boost. I find that distracting for some reason. This guy has Alpha Boost. I wonder who this is. It's Alpha Boost and Alpha Wheels. So he's going to be a solid player just based off that. If you're that committed to the game to have those items, you probably have a lot of hours. Good shot. Not much he could do about that, to be honest. He has to pre jump. I boost starved him and I had ball control. Pads. He's gonna have a touch here. Good of me to wait on that because I could just follow it up and get the boost. I'm gonna go for something a little cheeky. There we go. Good ceiling shot. Again, that's very risky because if you are playing somebody like the guy I played last game who was saving absolutely every single bolt, you might save that and get a counter attack. So you gotta be careful. I realize that's an option for them. They play from us again that's the height on this hip off it's actually crazy the height's the biggest advantage to this thing this bounce dribble that touch was actually beautiful really hard to get but perfect touch forward i'm gonna wait for shot i have 30 boost the shot's not gonna be fast i don't need to panic he hit it over i'm just gonna play to the left oh double flipper send the battle bus oh no i didn't even get i didn't even get the first one I feel like I had it though. Wait, what is that? Explosion. I couldn't even see what it was. I'm sure he'll score again. Sounded loud though. I'm trying to stay close here. So I get the boost as well. If I can get his boost, that'd be huge. He has to go all the way back now. I know I have a lot of time, so. Look how late he is to this challenge. I have all the control in the situation. Decided to go right away, but that's fine. As long as I flick or jump at all, he's gonna have way less options on the ball there. Bumped him off and I got the boost it's pretty huge. I'm not gonna waste my boost though. I do have almost full. That's fine. I can just go back pretty easily. Try to go for the bump on him. There we go. I know I couldn't follow up the ball straight up anymore. I toss it toward Nat and just went straight for the bump. Normally you'll see that as an air dribble, or someone will air dribble with the ball and then just leave it and go for the bump. So I'll try to do for you guys as an example next. But that's a little bit of a different version of it. Which is just like adapting to the situation a little bit more. Oh, the double reset on the battle bus. No, dude. Got nervous. Too much pressure, man. Too much pressure. I've never felt so much pressure in my life. Not even the world championship. Honestly, that bounced a lot different than I thought it would. I probably would have had it. I just, I guessed the wrong bounce. I should have played more reactionary than preemptive. I messed up my challenge. Pretty basic dribble from him. I should have just played it slower. That's all. I guess that Mr. Monsoon goal explosion. Right, is he turning on this for a shot? Looks like. All right, made him back off just by aggressing a little bit. Jesus, dude, that is the height of this car. Holy! I double jumped and I went over the bar. Like by a mile. <clears throat> the demo from him, that's the OP thing about demos in this game mode. You have three whole seconds of a empty net. <laughs> a little bit broken, but. Valid strategy. Alright, I'm gonna uh, start going for more normal goals again. So I don't throw the lead in the game. There we go. That was a good play. Good fake jump. Make him think we're air dribbling. They went back down to the ground. Got a good shot as well. I notice he doesn't really like to challenge 
And if he does, he goes all in. He never really baits first. He kind of just sits behind the ball or he goes all in. He doesn't really have an in-between. I should have went for this, probably. Yeah. So it looked laggy, but that's an air dribble bump, what he did there. You can't save it. There's nothing you can do to save it <clears throat> at that situation. I should have either went... I, I should have had like more of an in-between where I cover both options. Because if you give someone enough time to do that, get that close to the net, normally it's going to lead to a goal against you. To get 50. Try to stay on the ball. Look at his boost, is pretty huge here. I'm gonna stay on this, get the other boost as well. He's gonna be really low now. Let's try to get pads. I'll we'll probably see him getting pads in a second. Get the other boost here. Should be able to get back. I still have the boost advantage, so even if he has a little bit of a counter there, it's not too big of a deal. That's why I went for some risk here. I'm gonna go for the bump. Seems like this play every time. You'll notice tendencies a lot, like throughout the game, where people will do the same thing over and over again, right? And you'll, you'll start to learn by the end of the game what they do. So you can kind of make an educated guess. Instead of just like not knowing every time, you'll, you'll have more of an idea of what they like to do. The challenge. Can't out 50 this thing, dude. Go for the bump. Okay, I don't know how I didn't bump him. Dude. That's the thing, though. I feel like with those bumps, they're risky in a way because the game sometimes is just so laggy. Like, it, it, you can't really tell what happens on those bumps. Even when he got the goal on me this game, I feel like I made full contact on that ball. Good save. Ooh. Wait, it bounced down? No way. I thought that was going off the back wall. That's an unlucky bounce for us. He's gonna have a dribble now. Sometimes the game just doesn't bounce your way, and that happens, but. We got to go out of it. Should have been probably a free goal for us. It just bounced up. Unluckily. But yeah, that was a pro player. Probably. I don't know who it was. I think it was somebody with their name changed. Because they have alpha boost and alpha wheels. Normally only pro players have that. Because they commit a lot of their time to the game. So they buy these expensive items. Um, but yeah. That was a solid game. A lot of really weird goals here and there. With the air dribble bumps and stuff like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, what I can say is the battle bus actually does feel kind of nice. I don't think it's something I'm going to switch to full time. Wait, what rank did I get? What is it? Grand Champ 3. Are we close to Supersonic Legend in this? Grand Champ 3 Div 1. Okay, we're not. We're like 50 MMR away. We're actually pretty close. Could probably get Supersonic Legend in 1s uh, in not too long. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Like I said. Uh, what I will say about the battle bus is it's super high up. The 50s are super easy to win. Um, I think that the door in the back is a little bit distracting when it opens up and closes when you're in the air It makes like a horn sound like from the game uh, That's a little distracting as well uh, Outside of that though, it is fun to use. I think it's a, a Mimi car. It's like the new Merc troll type car But yeah, if you guys want to use it to do the challenges, it's free anyway. You might as well try it uh, But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed have yourself a wonderful day or night Whatever time is when you're watching this make sure you do hit that subscribe button. I love y'all and hope you guys enjoyed